Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 8th of September this year, DIDO and Indian Army have successfully completed six back-to-back -back flight tests of QRSAM or Quick Reaction Surface to Air Missile System from ITR Chandipur. The flight tests have been conducted as a part of evolution trials by Indian Army. QRSAM is being developed for Army to protect its armored column against aerial threats such as loitering munitions, armed drones and helicopters. However, the result of recent validation trials are not satisfactory as per reports which could further delay its induction. There were multiple issues reported by ET Defense which were found during the various phases of the trials. The first issue, which is a major concerning one, is that QRSAM failed to even detect and engage helicopters hovering at low altitude and minimum range. The attack helicopters have large radar cross-section and are primary threat for armored columns. Failing to detect them raises a serious concern over the surveillance radars. DIDO has vast experience of developing a potent surveillance radar from various platforms like Akash surface to air missile. The underperformance by surveillance radar of the system by this margin is something I find personally difficult to digest. The other major issue reported by ED Defense was the issues with mobility. The system is reported to have excess size and weight because of which it was not able to effectively move across the uneven terrains with armored column. Here again, the serious doubt is related to the mobility. Army is already using Akash surface to a missile which are heavier than QRSAM. Akash and QRSAM both can be mounted on Ashok Leyland or Tata Motors heavy mobility vehicles. And Akash SAM is heavier than QRSAM. However, the radars and launchers of Akash SAM can also be based on T-72 chases built by Ordnance Factory Medak to accompany the Army's fast-moving armored formation. So the question is, why can't QRSAM deployed on T-72 chases if the mobility is a key requirement and weight is a key concern? The other issue reported by ET Defense was on the accuracy of the missile. The firing success rate was unimpressive and only half of the missiles were able to hit the designated target. This again is something which I am not able to understand why as DRDO's experience with development of missiles ranging from Akash, VLSR SAM, MR SAM has been quite extensive. Inaccuracy of this margin is totally blown out of proportion. The other issues reported was low serviceability of various components of the system with malfunctions observed in radar, launcher and command vehicles almost on a daily basis. To summarize, as per ET reports, the QRSAM has issues ranging from radar, missile, launch rate, accuracy, weight and mobility of system, serviceability and maintainability while the source of ET report is anonymous. DRDO has already developed high mobility radars with better serviceability already in service with Army that includes Rajendra, Rohini and Swati radars. We have not seen any issues reported with their performance and they have been proven. Talking about missiles, with the development of various versions of Akash missile and their induction into Army, I doubt if DRDO's QRSAM will have a high inaccuracy. Further, the report is contrary to what has been published by Ministry of Defense post the trials of these missiles in September this year. Now, if you look at the MOD statement, the flight tests were carried out against high-speed aerial targets mimicking various types of threats to evaluate the capability of weapon system under different scenarios including long-range, medium altitude, short-range, high-altitude monoclean target, low radar signature with receding and cross target and salvo launch with two missiles fired in quick succession. The system was also evaluated under day and night operation scenarios. During these tests, all the mission objectives were met establishing pinpoint accuracy of the weapon system with state-of-art guidance and control algorithm including the warhead chain. The performance of system has been confirmed from the data captured by a number of range instruments like telemetry, radar and electro-optical tracking system deployed by ITR. 
the uniqueness of qr sam weapon system is that it can operate on move with search and track capability and fire on short halt this has been proven during the mobility trials conducted earlier so this was the exact statement or press release by ministry of defense in summary they are saying that the trial was successful and they have all the power to even hide the information about trial if it was a failure so the question is which report to believe i think this is left to the audience discretion the success of qr sam will be measured only when it's inducted as army will ensure that the defense system passes through all their preliminary staff qualitative requirement or psqr this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector